Hey everybody, so what are we looking at here? Well, we may be looking at Hashimoto's thyroiditis, we may be looking at an onset of Graves' disease, or we may be looking at uh, symmetry issues that occurred from birth. Now, not all of us are perfectly asymmetrical, like that's, most of us aren't actually. And I'm not picking on this girl's beauty, she's a beautiful young lady. Uh, but I'm trying to show, what I'm trying to do here is show you some issues that you may want to look out for because it may be an indication of thyroid dysfunction and Hashimoto's comes to mind and off and it comes into place so many so many times when you see this if it's not something that's been present since birth and to to identify what I'm talking about if we look and of course this is her left side this is her right side and if we look where the crease is above the eyelid to the lip of the crease and we measure the distance here the vertical dis uh, distance then we go again li lining up at the pupil and we measure from the crease of the eyelid up to the sorry the crease to the lip of the eyelid you notice there's much less visible eyelid on her right side than her left side but as a result of this, if we actually look a little closer, you look here, then you look here, and you can actually see the rounding of the eye there. You can see the full rounding, you can see where it becomes concave here, because the eye is bulging and pushing out. So that's quite easy to see in this photo. And what's happening as a result of this? If we take a look at the tip of the nose, the center of the brow, the tip of the nose, it turns. It turns from right, oh sorry, left side to right side. It's turning towards the right. And if you take a look at the lips, the center of the lips is doing the exact same thing. So the bulging of the eye is pushing this over. If this hasn't occurred uh, as an issue that began at birth, or the result in perhaps even an accident of some sort, or an injury of some sort then you're probably looking at Hashimoto's thyroiditis I a lot of people argue with me on this but this is what I call Hashimoto's eye uh, if the right eye would def were to follow and begin bulging in the same manner then we're probably looking at Graves disease where they both equally they bulge equally um, they're not so much equally but it, but both would be bulging uh, when it's just one eye, I find that often occurs in Hashimoto's thyroiditis. And in that case, you should be not even messing with your general practitioner doctor. You should be asking for a referral to an endocrinologist. Let the endocrinologist do a full thyroid panel because most doctors won't do it. Uh, ask for T3, T4, reverse T3, reverse T4. Uh, thyroid antibodies is what you really need to know and most general practitioners don't even know how to interpret that uh, and thus that's why they won't do it they tell you it's not necessary but the reality is is they don't know how to interpret those results it's not their specialty it's not they don't know how to do it uh, many of them actually will admit that uh, some will be too proud and just w w won't admit that but that, and that's fine then then refer you to an endocrinologist, have your thyroid antibodies tested, then they'll identify if it's Graves, if Graves or Hashimoto's is present, or maybe it was just a symmetry issue. Doesn't make her any less beautiful. Again, I'm not picking on her beauty. Uh, I'm talking about signs of illness and disease. I'm not talking about beauty here at all. Uh, so do that, have a full thyroid panel done, this thyroid really needs to be checked out. It wasn't the thyroid's not visible in this photo, but I love that there was a nice close up of the upper eyelids and the turn uh, of the nose and, and lips that follow the bulging left eye. And I just wanted you guys all to see that. That's it for now. Go to your endocrinologist if you have this issue that hasn't been present at birth. Bye for now.